Hi guys, I filmed this look today. It's a autumn slash fall um, inspired kind of warm smoky eye. I definitely wanted to do a autumn based look um, but without like the dark vampy lip which I will still do but I wanted to do something that's a little bit more smoky and a little bit warmer and I think it suits kind of if you've got my kind of skin tone um, as well a, a little better so this is the look that I came up with and it's just browns, plums, cranberries, everything that is to do with autumn right now and I actually started with a matte lip which I prefer and then I stupidly put some gloss on top which I'm not really enjoying right now. So I've already prepped my skin, I have used my <laughs> trusted Hydra Quench by Clarins and just in kind of like my t-zone area I have used my Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. Um, I find that it works well over my pores, I've noticed that my pores are a little bit larger now that I am um, pregnant so and it's not something that I really noticed before so and then some lip balm on my skin and then we can get started. Foundation wise I'm going to use something just a little bit heavier than I normally would use um, or more than I need if that makes sense um, and I'm gonna use the NARS foundation but I'm really gonna buff this into the skin well because you guys know that from my review that um, after giving it a go it definitely um, definitely worked out to be a good foundation with really good coverage but it's very unforgiving so I've, that's why I've made sure I've prepped my skin well also if I'm out of breath like I can hear myself out of breath. <laughs> if I'm out of breath throughout this video, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm gonna use my Real Techniques buffing brush, which I have not used in a while. And I'm gonna work that into the skin. And then just um, wash it over my lids as well, just so it acts like a bit of a eyeshadow base as well. And then my forehead is always like the last place I go with the foundation because most of us don't need too much coverage on the forehead. So I'm going to leave it there for foundation and I'm going to move on to my brows. Recently I have been um, enjoying using this eyeshadow by MAC and this is Brun by MAC. And um, it's kind of like a greyish brown. It works really well when you have dark, dark brown, almost black hair like mine. So I'm going to take an angled brush and I always like to start at the top of my arch and then brush that through my brows. And you guys know that I've definitely been enjoying using um, Sorry, not enjoying using it. I've been preferring to use, preferring to kind of go with like a more natural brow. I'm really kind of, I don't know. I say I'm over the like HD, like chiseled brow, but you never know. I changed my mind. So I'm just gonna brush that through like that. And then the front bits, I always just kind of rub a little bit because I don't want it too like straight or structured at the front because that's when you can tell that you've kind of gone to town with like filling them in. So I always start at the arch. And I'm just going with like my natural shape um, as always. So I'm going to leave them like that and if you want to use brow gel you can use brow gel but 
they still pretty much look like hairs to me and my brows don't really tend to move too much because I have pretty much dry skin all over so they don't really tend to budge too much so I'm okay with that. So we put foundation on the eyelids which means we need to quickly powder. Whenever you put anything cream onto your skin you just definitely want to just hit it with some powder before it starts to just set in any like fine lines and stuff. And I'm going to leave my under eye for now because I'm going to use it, be using quite dark eyeshadows. And I used, um, sorry, the Anastasia um, contour kit, but I used like this pinky shade, which I don't get to use other than using it on my eyelids really, because it doesn't, looks a little bit um, ghostly anywhere else on my face. And then I'm going to take my trusted 224 blending brush and I'm going to use this palette which I was gifted for my birthday from my cousin. This is the Sephora Overcast palette um, but I'm just going to basically pick up this brown matte shade there. So any brown shade you could even use, it's really similar to Brin which I just used for my um, eyelids, uh, eyebrows. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that on a blending brush and I'm going to put that into my crease lightly. And this is obviously going to work as a transitional shade so it's just going to make blending a whole lot easier and it kind of fools people into thinking that you've done a lot of blending underneath the surface when really you've just applied a transitional colour like this one and it's at this point you can really like decide what shape you want to go for so you can keep it quite rounded so you wouldn't want to kind of go past your lash line the end of your lash line or if you want to kind of wing it out and make it look quite feline then you can kind of blend out the colour towards the tail of your brow. I'm just going to take a little bit more So I'm going to keep it quite rounded because normally I like to go quite far out towards the tail of my brow but today I think I'm going to just keep it a little bit more rounded. Okay and just to warm that up a little bit because we're going for kind of like a warm autumn smoky eye I'm going to use Red Brick by MAC which is this vibrant orange orangey red I would say and I'm literally just going to take the same brush and I'm going to take the slightest bit, tap off all the excess and I'm going to just apply that slightly higher than the crease just to warm up the brown that we used because that brown was quite a cool toned brown. And you could go really like into this corner if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. And then what I'm gonna do before I forget is I'm gonna take um, just like this matte white shade from the Sephora palette. So any white matte eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna apply that to my brow bone. It has like tiniest bit of shimmer in it and that if you just apply it like right under your arch it just helps to lift your arch so we leave it like that and then I'm gonna pop in some gold in the corner so I'm gonna leave that to right to the end and then the perfect shade that I literally found is this shade here which is you can use like any cranberry eyeshadow or anything like that um, first thing I'm gonna do is use this cream base liquid metal base it's called Enrapture and it's from Illamasqua if you don't have one of these you could use um, a gold eyeshadow or you could use just any cream paint pot that has like a gold shimmer in it I'm just gonna use that my, with my finger actually 
I'm going to pop it in firstly in the middle and then press that in like that. And these tend to dry quite quickly so I'm going to again take my blending brush and just soften those edges. And now I'm going to use this pigment by MAC and this pigment is called Heritage Rouge. I'm not sure if this was a limited edition or not but let me show you guys. It's like the most gorgeous cranberry purple just mulberry shade. It's stunning. I'm going to take a flat, flat brush and I'm literally... Oh, I'm going to take that from the lid and I'm just going to pack that onto the gold cream base. And then what we do, we get a blending brush, but instead I'm going to take my 217 by MAC so it's a little bit firmer because we want this blended a little bit more precisely because it is a pigment and it will fly off everywhere if I use like a big fluffy blending, blending brush. And then what we can do is we can take a little bit more of the red brick eyeshadow just to help us with the blending. You can go back in if you want and just keep building up the colour but I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm also going to take that cream pigment again and I'm going to take like a pencil brush, this one's by MAC, and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line as well. And you can do your concealer before if it's easier, you could do your concealer now, set your concealer and then do this, but um, I'm just going to do it after. And then I'm going to take that same pigment we've used and I'm going to run that along the lower lash line. And you could definitely use um, a nude eyeliner. I think nude looks just the contrast against all the warm colours we've used looks really nice but I'm just going to stick with your standard black liner. Oh, actually no. I'm going to use Photo Graver. This is a Technical by Max, so it's one I think it's one of their water resistant ones, and it's just in a dark chocolate brown. And I'm going to do my waterline and my tight line with that. And then I'm going to take this um, eyeliner, and I'm just going to run it just ever so slightly on the very top lash line and it dries quite quickly so I'm just going to do one eye first. I'm going to take a pencil brush and then just blend that so it gives us a little bit of a smoky finish rather than doing like a really solid harsh liquid liner which you could definitely do but I'm just not going to do that and then I'm going to pop on some mascara. I'm still pretty obsessed with using my Max Extended Play Mascara because it's great for lengthening so I'm just going to pop that on. And then I'm going to do the bottom lash as well but I'm going to apply my falsies and I think I'm going to use these ones which look pretty cheap actually. These are the Primark lashes um, and they were only a pound but because they're a pound I want to give them a go and see if they're any good um, and if I can make them look half decent. Um, if not then I'm just going to go with my eye candy. Okay so I put one pair of the Primark lashes on. Um, they're a little bit fiddly because the actual band is a little bit stiff. So what I do is I put the glue on first and then 
I just grab them like this. So if you can see, focus, and I will just wiggle them <laughs> back and forth just so the band is a little bit looser, but it's still quite a stiff band, so we'll see. And because we're not wearing any lashes, uh, any eyeliner, it's a little bit obvious. Cheaper lashes. But you could pop on some eyeliner and call it a day or just use better lashes. Um, I'm just gonna pop this on. And then I always pinch them and I push them up as they're drying. Otherwise they will just lay really flat because we aren't curled them. And then I'm just gonna pop actually, put a bit more um, of that cranberry kind of eyeshadow pigment underneath. Like that. And then now I'm gonna do my concealer. Concealer I'm gonna use, first of all, I just wanna take, we have some Loose pigment. Um, concealer, I'm going to use a, the Urban Decay Skin Concealer. I do really like this concealer. I like the wand too, so I'm just going to take that like that. And then I'm going to use my. Where are you? I'm going to use a small kind of stippling brush and I'm gonna just work that in and then just use it just to clean up the edge too and then when it gets too close to the bottom eyeshadow I just use my finger just to press it in And then before that sets, you know we have to put in some powder. I'm going to use the Anastasia banana powder for this one. Literally just put a minimum amount because it really settles on my skin so I don't want to put too much. And then you guys could definitely um, do a wing liner, it looked really nice actually. But I'm going to leave that like that. I'm just going to add some mascara just to like clump the lashes together a bit. And then I'm going to, before I do that actually, I'm going to take this gold glitter eyeliner. Um, this is from Ruby Hammer. I think mean, you can get this from Boots or just like any gold eyeliner. And I'm just going to pop that just in the center here and along the front of my lash, lower lash line. I don't know if you can see that. You can definitely leave out, um, you can definitely leave out the glitter if you don't want, but I live, love, love, love glitter, so. And now I'm gonna pop on my Mascara. Like that. And then let's do the rest of the face. I'm going to use my contour kit again and I'm going to use the middle shade. Angled brush and I'm just going to lightly just define the cheekbones. Nothing too harsh. A blusher, I'm going to use my Lovejoy blusher. This is what it looks like. It's from MAC as well. And it's just plum golden, just beautiful brush blusher with shimmer as well. So I'm going to use a bit of that. 
not too much. I always get carried away with this blusher because it's just gorgeous. I'm going to leave it like that and then I'm not going to do any extra... Um, oh yes I am. I haven't tried my Mary Luminizer yet so I really wanted to crack that open today. And I'm going to use a fan brush if I can find open this. You need some highlighter. Oh my god, this is actually not opening. <gasps> yes. Look at that. You can see my fingerprints in there. I'm going to use this, just a fan brush, and I'm just going to pick a little bit that on one side of it. I could literally just <laughs> go to town with this, but again, that's not what we want to do. And I really want to put actually on my brow bone. I know I was keeping it matte, but I really want to put this on there. <gasps> okay, I think we're done. Put down the highlighter. Um, I'm going to. Okay, I need to wipe. Um, I have. Okay, so I'm gonna now just keep the lips um, pretty close to my natural lip color. So I say that, but I'm gonna use, um, this is well, of course, by MAC. So I'm just gonna line my lips with this. And I'm also gonna fill in my lips as well. I'm gonna leave that like that. So that's all I'm gonna do. I might actually. No. I was thinking of putting a gloss on. What do you guys think? Gloss? No gloss? Or this cream sheen? Or should we leave it matte? No, I think I preferred it matte. That's it guys, this is the finished look. Awkward closer. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what other tutorials you guys would want to see. I definitely felt with my get ready with me videos, you guys probably don't pick up as much useful information about the products or how I'm using them or my technique or anything like that. Um, so I definitely wanted to kind of do my talking tutorials even though the video will be pretty long I'm sure. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys soon.